Hey guys, welcome to the third video of the C Sharp Linked List Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to start implementing our Linked List class. In this video specifically, we are going to implement the private fields, the constructor, and a couple of the public properties. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is change class linked list to public class linked list. Now by default, that's what it means already but I just like to specify it so it's very clear. The next thing we're going to do is implement the private fields. So the first private field we're going to have is a private node, not NID, node, and it's going to be called head. This is the reference to the first node in our list. And I forgot to do this last time, so I'm going to check them off as we go. The next private field is going to be int, and it's going to be the size. That's how many items are in the list currently. The next thing we're going to do is implement the constructor. So it's going to be a public linked list, taking no parameters. And we're just initializing the private fields to their default values. So this.head equals null, because it doesn't point to anything. And this.size is going to equal zero, because there's currently no items in the list, right, when you make it. So we can cross that off the list. All right. The next two things we're going to implement is the empty public property and the count public property. So for the first one, it would be public bool, which will return true or false if it's empty or not. And I'm going to call it empty. And we just need a getter for this. Return this.size equals zero. So what this is going to do is going to evaluate, does the size equal zero? And if it's true, it'll return true. And that would mean, yes, it is empty. We don't need a setter because we are not going to want to be able to set if it's empty or not. The next one we're going to implement is the count method. So it's going to be a public and it's going to return an integer which will be the size and we'll call it actually, yeah, we'll call it count. And all we need to do is get return whoa, return this dot size and that'll return the current size of the length list. Let's cross these off the list. All right, now we have enough to test our class just to make sure the empty and count public properties work. So let's go into our program class that was made with the console application and we're just going to write to the console. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new linked list. I'll just call it list for now. And what we're going to do is console.write line is it empty plus list dot our new property empty that will write is it empty and then true or false if the list is empty or not and then console dot write line size plus list dot count I guess I should probably name that count and then I'll just do a console dot read line just so the console window doesn't close really fast after we start it up. All right, so let's test our class. And here it is. Is it empty? True. Count is zero. So that's a great start to our new linked list class. In the next tutorial, we are going to start implementing the methods with add and remove. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.